The ligamentous attachments of the spleen include the avascular splenophrenic ligament, the gastrospinic ligament containing the short gastrics, the splenorenal ligament containing the splenic artery and vein, and the avascular splenocolic ligament that can cause a capsular tear if excessive traction is applied. After the liver, the spleen is the second most commonly injured solid organ in the abdomen after blunt trauma. Physical exam can demonstrate localized tenderness in the left upper quadrant or generalized abdominal tenderness, but not all patients with a splenic injury will manifest peritoneal signs. As a consequence, imaging has become an important element of diagnosis and management. The FAST examination is used frequently as an initial means of diagnosing hemoperitoneum in blunt trauma patients. The left upper quadrant or perisplenic view evaluates the splenorenal interface for the presence of free fluid. A negative FAST does not rule out splenic injury, and CT of the abdomen with IV contrast is the imaging of choice for diagnosis. CT findings consistent with splenic injury include splenic hematomas appearing as low-density fluid adjacent to the spleen, splenic lacerations appearing as linear branching hypodensities, and a blush, a hyperdense area representing ongoing bleeding with extravasation of contrast. Grade 1 injuries include subcapsular hematomas less than 10% of the surface area or lacerations less than 1 cm in depth. Grade 2 injuries include subcapsular hematomas between 10 and 50% of surface area, intraparenchymal hematomas less than 5 cm, or lacerations between 1 and 3 cm. Grade 3 injuries include subcapsular hematomas greater than 50% of surface area, intraparenchymal hematomas greater or equal than 5 cm, expanding or ruptured hematomas, or lacerations greater than 3 cm parenchymal depth or involving trabecular vessels. Grade 4 injuries include lacerations involving segmental or hilar vessels producing major devascularization, whereas grade 5 injuries include hilar injuries devascularizing the spleen and shattered spleens. In hemodynamically normal patients, non-operative management should be pursued with monitoring, serial hematocrit checks, and serial abdominal exams. In hemodynamically normal patients with a CT showing a blush or pseudoaneurysm, angioembolization is recommended. Finally, unstable patients should undergo a splenectomy.